it's very rare that you get to say in mid-October that you're about to see the two best quarterbacks in a conference. Arguably, one of them is the best quarterback in the country. And as I bring in my partner, Spencer Tillman, who's been with me so many years, I'm so pumped to see Justin Herbert today. There's no question this guy's got it all. Well, you should be excited. But, Timmy, this statistic won't show up in any particular column or category. But Justin Herbert has got to be concerned about one thing. In the two games that I watched of the six, when he got around 50% completion, that's when they got in trouble, including last week when they went the force to overtime. He's got to understand the pressure's going to come to try to disrupt him, and he's got to be able to deal with it. Alternately, his counterpart, Mr. Minshew, who you mentioned a minute ago, <laughs> has got to understand that Jim Levitt is not going to sit back there as a defensive coordinator for Oregon and allow him to pick them apart. He's got to expect pressure frequently and often. Let's go down to the third member of our broadcast team, Holly Saunders. Thank you very much, Tim. Well, the biggest obstacle for Oregon's office tonight will be protecting Justin Herbert. Their O-line is really dinged up right now. They'll be without breakfast sensation Penny Sewell, Colin Throckmorton will replace him. Brett Aiello will become the starting right tackle. And Tim, to add insult to injury, Washington State has 18 sacks coming into the game tonight at second in the Pac-12 right now. Could be a really long night for Justin if they can't keep him on his feet. Mario Cristobal, the head coach of the Oregon Ducks in his first year, 5-1 and one coming off his most important win. And now in his seventh season, 57-year-old swinging the sword, Mike Leach, <laughs> with another magnificent job done after some years out of the profession and in our business. After being so successful at Texas Tech, I first met him coming out of Valdosta. He was with Hal Mummy and went over to Kentucky. The quarterback, uh, Tim Couch, and to rave reviews and on to Oklahoma where he got Bob Stoops' championship run going as a coordinator. The opening kick comes down to Travell Harris. And Harris beyond the 20, beyond the 30. All the way to the 40-yard line. That's a 38-yard return. Gardner Minshew, the leading passer in the country. And that's a quick cross. You're going to see a lot of those today. And right away, Travell Harris with the reception. Tillman takes. here they are. Timmy, it's really quickly, and they've already demonstrated playing fast. Find the matchups quickly. Mr. Minshew, that's your challenge. And Oregon, just a three-man rush on that initial play. Let's take a look and see how Mr. Levitt, the defensive coordinator, finds pressure. He's got four on the line now, giving them a little sugar look, moving in and out to create the illusion of pressure. Now they go with two backs. Both James Williams and Borgie are back there. Minshew, beautiful job. And that is Desmond Patman, number 12 for the first down. And this kid is something special. Swing it out. That's Air Booby. The youngster Williams, named for Booby Williams, as his nickname coming from Friday Night Lights. Second and seven. Nice. They go again with the wide receiver screen to Tay Martin. That's what we're talking about with regard to the width of the field as you see Justin Hollins, number 11, the senior from Arlington, Texas, on the stop. That's Harris in motion, moves into the slot near side. Minshew going with the out route, finds Kyle Sweet. He's at that wide receiver position. He is the chains mover. Comes up a little gimpy there as he goes back over to the sidelines. Javon Holland made the stop number eight. Once Cristobal got the job, as you see Max Borgie carrying the mail. Pick up a four, it's second down and six. Borky stays in, oh, now got him out. moves out. Pressure, and uh, Minshew just has to unload it. He was looking towards the corner. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Martin, number one, at the very bottom. There's the cross, and it is caught. That's Jamari Calvin, eight yards. They can get a first down without the touchdown. Little inside screen, nothing doing well defended as Martin received it. Thomas Graham Jr., number four. He's got to get rid of this quick. Yep. There's the fade for Martin, and it's incomplete. Well defended there by Demondior Lenore. 
Third and nine. The line to make is the two. All out pressure now. Here it comes. Jailbreak off the edges. Minshew uh, he missed throws this the interception. It's Lenore. Diamador with the pick. Timmy had a similar throw against Utah where he threw an interception. Ironically close down to the red zone. Got to discern all those crossing bodies down there. Just because they're coming with pressure doesn't mean you have to rush it. You just got to identify the proper receiver. You can see the pressure's coming from here offside. You got pressure coming here both sides. But again, his eyes go front side. Then he comes back to try to find the crossing route underneath and just throws it right over the head of the defender. He had him open. You know, just an opportunity missed. That's the fifth interception thrown on the season to go with uh, 19 he, touchdowns for Minshew. Yeah, he's going to wish he had that back because Tate Martin was wide open on the shallow cross. C.J. Verdell, the lone setback for Justin Herbert. Uh, and and he's got a problem. Crowd will be a factor. Bouncing seats right around 60. There's another wow. problem with the snap. He'll have to take a safety. Mm. That's one for Old Crimson, and it's proud. Timmy, look where his eyes snap. are, looking this direction when the false snap comes. Start. If you can't hear it, Offense. that tends to happen. It's an illegal shift that converted to a false start. Oh, before. The penalty is half the distance to the goal. Wow, they got a break. They had a big break. They got a break, an illegal shift. Before the before play. Before so the snap, yes, pre-snap penalty. So it's a dead ball foul. Yeah, which costs the crowd the two points that they yep, converted. Absolutely. And that really was but here's points the, for this crowd. Yeah, but here's the deal, Tim. It still doesn't take away what just happened on the previous two plays. They've still got to deal with the fallout of the execution. Jake Hansen is the snapper, number 55. Yeah. There's premature movement. This will be a false start. Tim, here's the previous look. Let's see if this top receiver here, move, the receiver out here moves. Delay of game, defense. Signals and movement he was not set. to cause a false start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Second down. Wow, what a break now. They get a second one with a penalty. <laughs> wow. Second and 16. Well, they get the snap right, and here goes Verdell. <laughs> Delayed blitz coming and another marker down. Wow. Well, offensive coordinator Marcus Arroyo is upstairs. Delay of game, offense, mm. five-yard penalty, third down. But the old offensive lineman, head coach Mario Cristobal, has got to be really upset with the proceedings right now because this is about dealing with what you've been practicing on all week, and that is the heat coming from this crowd. And, Tim, this is an inflection point because, remember, this season was totally opposite last year when they led the conference in penalties. They were one of the worst penalized teams in all of college football yeah, last year. And not this year. You're right. Until today. Late cross going to Schooler. And Brendan is going to be stopped. Yet again, my mom booms this one. And it's Harris backpedaling. And he gets back up to the 32, maybe the 33, a 54-yard boot. Max Borgie is in the backfield as Washington State takes over their second series. Borgie bouncing outside. This freshman's got a future, doesn't he? 24 carries, 147 yards, averaging six yards per tote coming in. They decided to uh, go with the pistol offense that he was part of, obviously, with Alt over at Nevada. You see here Borgie getting away. He is slippery, is Max. Good call, my, my friend, as Williams takes it to the 40 and is pushed back immediately. And he just brings out Great quarterback after great quarterback from all kinds of places.
This young man's from Mississippi, as you see Borgie spun down after a pickup of two. Booby Williams again. And that's that little swing pattern that is so effective. Look where the ball is. Way little over swing here. in the gate, little swing Hello. in the gate, Timmy. And there it goes. Booby Williams trying to get outside and does. Stays with it. Booby! He is there, Booby! Touchdown! I don't believe what I just saw. There he is. If you were around September 1 against Wyoming, they ran it twice. It's the old swing and gate. Morning, Oregon coaches in the sideline area. This is their first and only sideline morning of the game. Mario better be careful, yeah. too. He is hot. Bold back to Minshew, complete handoff to Williams. Now he breaks three tackles with a stiff arm, spinning away from two more at the 20. He has the 15-yard line. James Williams dives, pylon, touchdown, Washington State, 24 yards. Every duck tried to tackle him. He stiff-armed the group, spun away from the rest. It's 6-0 Cougs. What a run yeah, the, the, by, by Booby Williams. Yeah, he just a great individual ever, but the formation was great. I mean, I, I saw that numerous times in the Wyoming game, so everybody was fixed. And you saw almost as many penalties as plays run by Oregon offensively, just their second series. Play fake, Herbert taking a shot. And we've got penalty markers on the field as Dylan Mitchell was interfered with by Darian Moulton, number three. Oh, he's open. Yes, he is. Long for Schooler and complete. And a lot of pre-snap movement in the Cougar defense. Bordeaux. Ahead for about three yards. Third down and seven. Pressure up the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Mitchell. A lot of heat coming, though. Angling for the right side. A fair catch is called for by Kyle Sweet. Borgie is the setback. Four wides. And again, the shallow cross to Tay Martin. Yards after contact. They rely on that heavily. And Tay, who came in with 40 catches for 440 yards, is stopped by Apelu. A good vision. How about Williams again, huh? Wow. How about this kid? He's ahead to the 35, maybe the 36, stopped by Troy Dye. First and 10. Minshew, again on the check down, goes to Borgie. He carries three ducks with him. Out to the 42, maybe the 43. Seven yard game. Borgie ahead for a first down. They'll mark it at the 47 yard line. They love to run to the left side when they do choose to run. Minshew on the quick out. It's caught by Patman. The numbers on first down, doubling down of Oregon, and that's Harrington 24. Now he's got uh, the Ducks seeing some purple haze after quarter number one. I'll tell you that. <laughs>
Williams. Second down and five. Nice pump fake. Going for the corner. Harris. Incomplete. I think he knocked that one away himself with his leg as he was trying to reel it in. Javon Holland was back there with him. By Cristobal. Very happy. Out pattern again. This one is caught inside the 20. On first down, Borgie. Stopped by Justin Hollins. There it is. It's Bell. Just shy of the pylon. They'll mark it inside the one. I'm really not sure why it wasn't called as such at well, the time. Well, probably because his right foot almost simultaneously hit that at white. After review, the runner broke the plane of the goal line with the football before his foot touched out of bounds. It's a touchdown. Dino's master of many, failure few. <laughs> Tony Brooks James lets that one go through for the touchback. Verdell in the backfield, and he is met right at the point of attack. Palour and Nick Begg, 89 and 47, collaborate. Second and 10, a pump fake. He's got a great arm. Looking long for Mitchell. Incomplete. That's an outstanding offensive front, but here comes more wow. pressure. Down he goes. Fave, Fave. So nice you had to call his name twice. Oh, here comes a jailbreak attempt for a block. Kick is low, and wisely Kyle Sweet did not try to field it off the bounce so it is a good roll in 47 yards from Mamone. James Williams forges ahead for a couple. So far quickness has outdueled Braun. He saw Winston Jr. number eight the Z receiver with his first catch of the evening. Minshew swings it out again on the check down to guess who? Booby! First down at midfield. Stopped by Apelu. Second and six. Minshew swings it out again to Winston. That's Kyle Sweet in motion. And Borgie. Nice. Bounces it outside and is stopped after picking up the first down at the 38, a gain of three. Little shovel. Wow. Williams. Great defensive reaction there. On second and six. Swing it out again to Borgie. Wrapped up at the 19 by Dye. Third and six here. There it is. Sweet. Move the chains. First down. Huge defensive sequence for Oregon before the half. Swings it out again to Borgie. He's got a little room. Has to cut back. Good defensive work. Out of the shotgun. Time for Minshew. Cross. Gartner looking. There it is. The late cross. And down to the six-yard line is Tay Martin. He didn't give up on it. Third and goal. Minshew going a fade in the corner. It is caught. It is Winston. It is touchdown.
three wide outs left, one right. Snap back Minshew, pump fake, fade pattern. Winston with the grab over the shoulder, touchdown! Over Lenore, pump fake, fade pattern for six, and Minshew's got his second pass TD, and it's 19-0 Cougs up. They've allowed one duck yard and are shutting Oregon out and are back up on the board, nearly up 20-0. numbers the interception is really the only thing standing between a perfect night for Gardner Minshew against this Oregon team those kinds of numbers will get Ugo Amati talking as a leader in that back end for the Oregon Ducks problem is Timmy all that talking can't cause you to ignore those numbers Oregon just with one yard to Washington State's 256 16 first downs to Oregon's one that is total and complete domination time nine. of possession off the chart 21 minutes 39 seconds to 5 minutes 15 seconds. and nine different receivers Incredible. on the that have been targeted by Gardner Minshew there's the kick through the end zone for a touchback On first down, Herbert looks to get more than one yard, which was the total number of offensive yards picked up after that seven-yard sack, which counts against your overall rushing game, and C.J. Verdell just got him a first down. I mean, this is a downhill power yep. team, and they've not utilized that tonight. Herbert. That's a big-time throw, but it comes a little bit late to Johnny Johnson. Darian Moulton had time to recover, and it'll be third and long. On third and 11, a mix up on the pattern that time. Mitchell went one way, the pass the other. It's a high snap. He will angle it and go end over end with this boot. And it gets a Washington State hop all the way back up to the 42 yard line. Just a 24 yard boot. There's a little comebacker to Desmond Patman. Stopped at the 16 yard line by Lenore. Williams and Borgie in the backfield. Minshew dumps it to Borgie. He wow. got by one, he's in, touchdown! Checking in one from the Duck 15, 48 seconds left in the half. Snap back Minshew after the timeout, two running backs in the backfield, dump off Borgie, fingertip, makes a man miss at the 10, sprints to the goal line, touchdown! Near side of the field, 15-yard run, and the Cougs have blown it wide open! And this place is bonkers! 26-0, Cougs are blasting the Ducks! 284 yards to Oregon's 10 in the half, and it's 26 to a goose egg. And normally, after a bye week, Mike Leach's teams have struggled in oh, recent yeah, years. One in five. Yeah. Herbert trying to make something happen late. That's Cano Dillon. Quick out to Dillon Mitchell. Gets it up to midfield. Third down and six. Schooler goes down to the bottom of your screen. Pressure! He got the pass away just in time. And so they can't stop the clock if they get something in the middle of the field. Herbert lets it fly, looking long in the neighborhood of Schooler. Dropped in the end zone by Dylan Mitchell. I mean, it was right in his mitts. And that's the end of the game. First down, Oregon needs to get something done in a hurry. Verdell, that's a good way to start. Pistol offense now, but with Herbert at quarterback, they need plays like this 
out of the shoot in the second half has Jacob Breeland the tight end and we mentioned they'll use four of them through the course of the game. Now play action fake stepping up Herbert that's Breeland again. Three big time plays to open this half. Darian Moulton ushers him out of bounds but they're in great shape already in the red zone. And Burdell burrows down to about the 16 yard line. Productive that Oregon's offense has been by far in tonight's game. Herbert. You know he felt the pressure coming that time dumped it off to Mitchell on the check down Darian Moulton making the stop. Herbert. Nice curl maneuver coming back for it. That's a grab catch it. By Schooler. They load up. Play oh, yeah, fake. Oh boy. Going to the right, and Herbert's got room. A lot of green grass. Touchdown. We, we need to just do routine stuff, and we didn't. And sometimes, you know, uh, subconsciously, you might relax a little, and maybe we did. And I didn't think they would stay dormant forever, <coughs> which, <coughs> which they didn't. And they came out and inspired the second half and uh, they played well the third. Travell Harris will take a knee for the touchback. First and 10 for Washington State will be their first series of the second half. From the 25 first down. A little bubble screen goes out to the receiver Tay Martin and the wide receiver screen is stopped in quick Formed by Thomas Graham Jr., number four. Williams and Borgie in the backfield. Minshew, he's resourceful, throws it to the back shoulder for Williams, incomplete. That one's thrown away. A little bit of a mix up, it appeared. Tay Martin, the intended receiver, the Amador Lenore in coverage. Isovich finally on the field for a punt, and here comes Ugo Amati. Great field position for the Ducks as he gets it all the way to the 46 yard line. This is the best field position by far of the night for a series to start, and Verdell is stopped right away by Carson Block, number 50. Second and 10. Plenty of time, and now he decides to let it go on the RPO. I mean, he was right almost at the line of scrimmage there. Verdell, the intended receiver, incomplete. So third and ten coming up. Out pattern. Still short. Yep. I got to get that pressure off the end, though. Crossing pattern and it is caught. It is Mitchell first down. Excellent work. Burdell off the left side. Look out. CJ all the way down to the 21. That's a pickup of 20 and Skyler Thomas made the stop. First and goal. Nice inside counter. It's Travis Dye. His first tote. Second and goal. One more time he tries to get inside, but nothing doing. Carson Block. Third and goal. Breland in motion. One more time. Die is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. What penetration that was. Snap was poor, but it was handled oh. nicely. Well done by Mamon. Makes the job an easy one.
ahead to the 18. Borgie in the backfield will tote it. Look at him, just keeps those strong, legs turning. He? Boy, he really does. Gets the most out of every opportunity. Justin Hollins, number 11, with the tackle, a gain of five. On second down. Oh, it's right there. Oh, counter. Gets it ahead to the 30. Minshew yeah, looping this one there. a little bit long. It yeah, could be stayed. picked, and it is. That one's taken out of the air by Lenore, his second pick of the night. The ruling on the field is an interception. First down, Oregon. First down from the 23 after the turnover. Lots of room here for the quarterback to slide safely. About a yard, maybe two shy of the first down, Justin Herbert. That's a gain of eight. Third and four. Off his back foot. That pass is overthrown for Dylan Mitchell. Wow. He wanted a marker, and I think he, he did get it. A little bit late coming down. That pass is a beauty. I do have a threading the needle there to Dylan Mitchell. That was a big league throw by Justin Herbert. Herbert now 115 yards in the air. Most of it in this half. Plenty of time for Mitchell again. He overshoots him. Skyler Thomas was in coverage. Verdell the setback. Pressure off the corner and they release it. And it is caught by the tight end Ryan Bay, the junior. Let's see if they can clear this out. The teacup route, it confuses a lot of folk. He's got room to roam. He's got a first down and slides safely. <laughs> you, you probably need to get something good to happen in the second half here. Reverse. Here's Mitchell. Dylan Mitchell. Down to the 20 yard line, a couple of yards shy of a first down. Third and two. Another dart. That's a catch by Mitchell. And Herbert now is really in rhythm. The kid is in rhythm now. Herbert, got he's got a lot of room in the corner. Red got it. Touchdown. He could have run that one in, but elected to throw it instead. And now 22 consecutive games with a touchdown pass. Jalen Red was sitting back there. And again, you're absolutely right. Justin had an opportunity to go high or low. Inside game protection was solid. He moves around in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield where his receiver is waiting all alone wow. in the end zone. That was a busted assignment. Yeah, and he went up to get it too, Spencer. Yeah. Look at this. He did. That ball was high. Yes, it was. Jim Brando, Spencer Tillman, Holly Saunders. Happy to have you with us. How much you got left in your engine? In the tank in the fourth quarter, we'll find out. Here's Gardner Minshew is pressure. Here comes pressure. It's coming from right up the middle, and that is a beautiful out route to Tate Martin. A great response by the Mississippi and Minshew. He gets it right on cue here. Spun down after a gain of two, maybe three. We'll call it two. Look how deep those tackles are. Check down again to Borgi and the safety valve is ahead. Got pushed back. Boy, Apelu. Shallow cross again. That was tipped, was tipped yep, in the air. Tipped. That was Hollins that tipped it, number 11. Bell is claiming he caught it, but it's being ruled incomplete. After review, the receiver had his hands under the ball. It's a catch. 
It'll be a first down oh. for Washington State. <laughs> ah. 49-yard line. So they did give him credit for yes, sir. first down made. It's only the second Washington State first down of this half. Great protection, but dangerous throw. Yeah. Incomplete. Second and ten. James Williams. Pick up of seven. Seven very important yards up the gut. Stopped by Jalen Jelks. Pat it down. Great defensive work by Lamar Winston. So they'll boot it away. Gregisevich, a line driver that goes through 47 yards for the touchback. Verdell is in the backfield. First and 10 for Oregon. Breeland the tight end. They've been targeting him often. Play fake. Uh-oh. Too long. Yeah. Looked like they had a wheel route working, but it just did not work out for Schooler. Logan Tago is in at that end spot, 45. There's the pre-snap movement. Third and two. Nice comebacker to Schooler. And the young man brings it in right in front of Marcus Strong, who broke up that last play, and it's a first down. Plenty of time, and on the check down, it's to Burdell. What a great open field tackle. Was it ever. Beautiful work done. Second and ten. Got a wide nine technique that they need to be aware of, this guy out here. Pressure off the edge. Herbert did all he could to gather himself and move ahead for two. This is a big one here. Curl route caught by Jalen Red. And the sticks will move another first down. A lot of composure in that pocket. He slings one out for the edge, incomplete intended for Schooler. Herbert with 152 yards in this second half in the air. Underneath, he dumps it to his man, Johnny Johnson. He's ahead. Two yards shy of the first down at the 43-yard line is where they'll spot it. Herbert, incomplete. Looking for Breland. He's begging for a flag. He's not going to get it. Skylar Thomas was right there with him. Here's the grass, Timmy. Let's see if they exploit it. They come the opposite way. Yeah, they go to Mitchell. He got it, too. Yep. Got the first down. But let's see what they do. Herbert, with protection now breaking down, decides to take it out of bounds. Second and 11. Pressure off the edge. Over the middle and cost. That's, That's Schooler. Yeah. Right in front of Marcus Strong, and the pass was a little behind him. But number nine with sure hands, 28 yards and a first down. Schooler schooled strong here. Watch him drive on the drive route. Turn that head to the left, and he just kind of floats in there. That ball was placed on his back hip. Mm -hmm. First down. He loves it, too. Great throw by the quarterback, Justin. But I put it on his back hip, low and away so he can go get it. Herbert has been outstanding in this half. You now know why everyone thinks so highly of him. Dumps it underneath. That's Verdell. He gets it inside the 10. Taken out at the 6. Hunter Dale. Second and four. He just throws that one away. Lots of heat coming late from Jihad Woods, and he took one in the sternum. I mean, right under the shoulder pad. Line to make is the two. He slings it in, wow. tipped into the air and almost picked. Tried to jam it in to Breeland, the tight end, and Skylar Thomas knocked it away. Pelour also involved. So now a 22-yard field goal to make it a one-score game. Very important. 
23 yarder and it's been an adventure sometimes. The kicking game just inside the one See what Washington State does in this sequence. They had a decent drive, stymied early. And Another that block one's blocked tip. in the air again. Lamar Winston Jr., 32, very active. But I'm curious now if they're going to put the pedal to the metal here. There's Travis Harrell. That's an interception. No, no, no he, he, took it away. he took it away from Harrell. him. Travis. Travell Harris brought it in, 37 yards. Yeah, and he's two feet shorter than that guy. Yeah, it's an outstanding play. And then he ripped it away at the end, too. He has a really good play. He's a very competitive guy and um, <clears throat> pretty strong, too. They're yeah, going to try to get pressure here. Minshew swings it out to Booby. Gets past one, past two, and spun down at the 35 by Troy Dye. Third down. Line to make is the 28. Pump fake. Minshew looking for Harris again. This time overshoots him. Ugo Amati, outstanding coverage there, number seven. Ugo Amati redirected him, and he couldn't get back to where he wanted to get to, and that's just great physical play downfield. He's got the play that he wants. Nice. To the corner. It's Travell Harris again. <laughs> well, it's like stealing, man, when you see it. Minshew. You got it. To the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Desmond Patman. Party on. Second and nine, duck 22 left, hashes, snap back, Minshew tosses it center of the field, wants the end zone, leaping crowd, touchdown, Des Patman, and the Palouse is going to pop. 340 left in the fourth, it's 33-20, Cougs, first points of the second half, and it's Des Patman down the center of the field, back of the end zone, Minshew with a touchdown, and over 300 yards acquired this game. Breeland, the tight end. They burped him. They sure did. Popped him pretty good, didn't they? Third down. Herbert. Right to the middle. Red was there. He sat on it, waited on it, and a strike was thrown right in front of Skylar Thomas, number 25 of the secondary. From the 47. Underneath, that's Verdell out of the backfield. Got a first down and then some. Boy, did he stay alive? Tight rope act inside the 30 to the 28. That's but he's a got, he's 29 down. yard gain, and he is yeah, he's, slow he's getting up. Bit. Steps up again, lets it fly. And wow, boy, I it. thought Johnny Johnson had it, and then it looked like he dropped it. Could not recover. That's one. Of, oh, he wants that one back. Second and ten. Herbert, plenty of time. Wow. For Pick. the corner. Boy, that should wow. have been picked. Jalen Thompson had green, green grass in front of him. Mitchell down at the bottom of your screen looking to get free. Herbert in trouble. Now. Down he goes. Pressure off the backside. Taylor 27 with the third sack of the evening. Loss of nine. Herbert lets it fly. Knocked away. Once again, it's Jalen Thompson. Well, there is power in the stash. Okay, huge, huge, huge win. Yep. What in the world is going through your head right now? Man, I'm just so happy for our team. For everybody involved, for these fans that came out, gave us so much support. They deserve the best, and we're just trying to give that to them. All right, Jalen, two huge stops. You almost intercepted the one over on the left sideline. What was it like to finish off this game? 
Uh, it felt great, you know, playing with my teammates. You know, we we came out, uh, we thought we were going to win the whole game, and we ended up doing that. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for my team. Oh,